Hello everyone, um, I'm back. My name's Randy and uh, about two weeks ago <clears throat> I posted a video on YouTube uh, that was back in January 11. I was two days post-op my surgery. As you all know I had an ACDF uh, procedure done on my neck because of the uh, pain that I was having on my left side of the shoulder and neck and also the arm and some impingement <clears throat> which was causing some tingling you know in my hands and an arm in both shoulders left and right but right after surgery I felt a lot of relief right away I'm two weeks post-op now and I just came back after seeing my doctor today over in Temecula um, Dr. Brad Abshire he's a really good doctor and I, I think he is probably one of the best he really took good, you know good care of me and uh, I feel great you know I, I can't really emphasize enough how great I feel um, compared to the way I was before I was in I'd say agony you know a lot of pain and um, I was suffering basically I was suffering every day just you know, trying to um, survive the pain that I was going through day in and day out. Um, but right now, I, you know, my, uh, basically, I, I have some mild to moderate pain on my throat still, <clears throat> which is, of course, based, you know, on the surgery. They had to retract the esophagus. The scar actually has, you know, healed really well, as you can see. Dr. Abshar used the glue, he stitched the, you know, first few layers, but then at the surface where the skin is, he actually used a glue called Dermabond, and it healed really well. Actually, the first few days, I felt like it was already sealing, you know, really good, and um, right after I took a shower, I noticed that it cleared out a little bit, you know, of the the probably the um, the prep that they used on my skin as well as the the blood a little bit of it but after that washed off it looked really good and as you can see the scar um, is just like a hairline right now and I'm sure that within a few days months it's gonna heal more and it may not even you know show like I have a scar there anymore it might just look like a a neck a part of my neckline but <clears throat> anyway um, I saw my physical therapist Monday 23rd and uh, he gave me a lot of um, information and points on how to exercise my neck as well as my back which supports my neck a lot of um, muscle you know strengthening uh, which I probably will start doing within six weeks, but not right now. I'm still recovering. Uh, actually, Dr. Abshire does not want me to, to move my neck a lot. As you can see, I'm not wearing a brace. Uh, I didn't need to, as, as per his orders. Uh, I just have to really be aware of my movements and be very careful with what I do, which is, of course, what I, you know, I'm, I'm very aware of. Um, I'm sleeping really well at night. You know, I don't really feel the same pain that I used to. Sometimes I notice that <clears throat> at the end of the day, I start feeling tired, basically because of all the movements sometimes that I do. Um, I've been kind of bad, you know. He wanted me to really rest and do nothing, but I'm usually on the computer looking at, you know, down on the keyboard or staring at the monitor and doing little things here and there. So at the end of the day, I kind of like feel a mild... Pain, mild to moderate pain where I had it before on the left side of my neck in the back uh, very mild <clears throat> not strong enough to keep me up but to help me alleviate that pain I take Vicodin uh, before I go to bed one a day I actually have been trying as much as I can to stay away from it but um, because of that mild pain I just want to be sure that you know I will have a good night's sleep so I take one uh, pill before I go to bed, and that helps me out a lot. Um, 
if you, for, for some of you that, you know, doesn't know <clears throat> what the procedure entailed, what it is is um, he had to go and uh, fuse two levels, well actually one level, it's the C5, C6, it's two bones, but it's considered a one level disc fusion. Uh, it's a uh, anterior cervical disc fusion. There was a an impingement, you know, a bulging disc between C5 and C6, which was causing the pain um, on my left arm and neck. And uh, he had to release that. And he also harvested a bone, some bone, a little bit of it, to put in the plate that he was going to put in between the levels C5 and C6, meaning cervical 5 and cervical 6 disc. That's the level the doctor had to refuse, C5 and C6. After he cleared out the bone spur and uh, the old disc in there, he measures the size of the plate that he's going to use and also harvested a bone on my right hip. Uh, that part also, um, there was a lot of talk about how painful it was for some people. Uh, it was different for me. I really didn't feel a lot of pain after surgery on the hip, even though he did, you know, surgery on that, on that side of, of my body. I didn't really feel a lot of pain. Very mild, almost nothing. I would only feel it when pressure is put on it. Uh, even now I'm wearing a belt because I just came back from his clinic. I don't feel anything, but if I push on it, I feel a little bit of pain, but almost nothing. It's nothing to be worried about. And of course, it's different for a lot of people. We're not all the same. You may have that pain after surgery if you're going to choose the um, um, autograft, which is what I had. Uh, versus allograft, which is from another source and, and not mine, um, like a, a cadaver's bone or something, um, something else. But nowadays, because of technology, there's so many different, you know, things available out in the market. So a lot of doctors are actually uh, using that now versus this. But the golden, you know, rule or choice is still, of course, your own bone. And that's what I wanted also in Dr. Hapshar wanted that for me as well. Uh, so he fused the two levels and then he measured the size of plate that he was going to put in between the, you know, the two um, sections of the spine. After he replaces the disc with the plate, then he will, uh, with, with the disc, I mean, then he will put in a, uh, a plate to fuse the two levels, the C5 and C6. And then he also put two screws above and two screws below, two screws on the C5 and two screws on the C6 to secure the two bones and the fusion because he wants that to fuse, the C5 and C6 level. That's not going to move as much anymore, so anything below that will move and above. So three, four, so four, three, two, one will still move the C5 and C6 will basically be fused until it heals. And uh, then maybe by then I can do more movement and start training again. Um, I really miss running a lot. You know, I used to run a lot before surgery. I was doing a lot of triathlons. So right now I'm just resting a lot and uh, training as much as I can to recover, you know, very well um, from this surgery. I'm two weeks post-op, I, you know, I can move freely, I can raise my arms, um, I move my neck left and right, really carefully though, not brisk, not nothing fast, I can move it up, down, that's, that's for now, it's a little tight still, but it's getting really better, um, <clears throat> I will keep you guys up to date, you know, within a few weeks to come and see how I'm doing. I haven't really started training yet. Um, I would love to start training again. I miss running. I, I, like what I said, I did a lot of running, did a lot of uh, swimming and biking. I do triathlon, you know, and then I mix um, 
in between I do uh, weights as well. I think I'll be doing that more to strengthen my neck muscle when I come back from training again. Um, probably he said within three months I might be able to do a little bit of running. It all depends on how I heal. He said within uh, you know, a few weeks he will do an x-ray to see how the, the bone is doing and he'll let me know from there. I will get, I'll keep you guys posted you know, and see it and let you guys know how I'm doing. But um, I'm two weeks post up. I'm feeling really good. You know, I, I sometimes I feel like I can do a lot more. I'm just I'm just trying to control myself and not do too much uh, for my you know own sake and, and for my own benefit. So guys, um, some of you that are worried about having this procedure done, uh, like what I said, I chose a real good doctor, and I am really grateful and thankful to God that um, I met Doctor. Brad Abshire, uh, his clinic is in Temecula, California. Um, he had a real, really, really good uh, help from Dr. Euler. He is in sports medicine as well here in Temecula, California. His name is Dr. Richard Euler. I know both of them very well, and uh, I highly recommend this too. You know, for, for anyone who's you know thinking about having this procedure done in the future. Um, some of you that are having it done, um, my prayers goes to you, for all of you, and I hope that uh, everything goes well, as well as, you know, did for me. And um, don't worry, it went well for me, and um, keep, keep a positive attitude, and I'm, whole, and, and I'm sure that uh, everything will go as, as well for you guys, too. I'll keep you guys posted within a few weeks and let you know how I'm doing, and... Uh, you know, for um, my fellow triathletes out there, you know, stay strong, stay healthy, take care of your, you know, health, your body, and uh, most most important of all, you know, of course, is, you know, rest. Uh, I think our body needs that a lot, especially for the kind of sports that we're in, endurance, and sometimes we tend to push ourselves too much to the limit that uh, we forget about, you know, the most important thing of all is rest taking care of ourselves, you know, having a good diet, um, supplementing yourself with vitamins, and just being aware of your whole well-being, and get yourself educated a lot in, in regards to how, you know, to do these things. Okay, guys, uh, thanks again, and more power to everyone. Bye, and I'll see you again within a few weeks. Bye-bye.